And here we go for the second fight in the male finweight division, the semifinals between Mark Lopez of USA Elite Team and Ricardo Parmeres of Argentina. Joining me again, Mr. Ed Brochin. Yeah, this promises to be a very exciting match. Uh, Ricardo Pumares was the uh, coach, the uh, delegate for the national uh, team of Argentina, which we selected for this championship. And it appears to me that he is going up against Mark Lopez, which is the uh, youngest of the Lopez brothers. Uh, I think, I believe he's only 15. And, uh, but he took a silver medal this year, I believe, at the U.S. Open. And then just two weeks following, here he is fighting again in the North American Open Pack on the championship. He um, seems to be very talented, and let's see what he can do here against Ricardo Pomares of Argentina. You're right about what you were saying about Mark Lopez and his accomplishments, uh, Mr. Wilson. He's an eight-time junior national champion and a two-time junior national team member, and as you mentioned, the silver medalist in the 1998 U.S. Open. That's got to be a, uh, a, a great accomplishment for him because the U.S. Open is a very high-caliber championship as this, the North American Open Cup on the championship. It features a lot of the same teams, a lot of the same players, the same athletes from all over the world. It's usually either two weeks before or two weeks after the uh, U.S. Open, somewhere around that uh, time frame there each year. And uh, we will have this in 1999, I believe, in January the 15th and 16th. We will see all this action once again. So let's see what uh, is going on in this match, Cass. What can you figure out here about these two players? They're both lightning quick, and they're counterattacking like you would not believe. You know, I forgot to mention that Ricardo Primeras also has a, quite a list of accomplishments. A gold in the Mexico Invitational 1995, national champion in 92, and he was at team trials 92 through 97. So he's got a lot of experience. Oh, I thought that might have been the end of round one, but they've still got some time left. They're still going at it. There's a lot of fury, and there we go. That's the end of round one. Here we go for the second and final round in this men's finweight division semi-championship. Both players seem to be anxious here to get off the line. Let's see what happens here. We've got the Pumata seems to be the aggressor here. He's really pushing the action. Mark Lopez kind of playing back a little bit, playing back. Let's see what happens. Nice roundhouse kick attempt there by the red pair. Blue, I think Blue might have scored there. Kess, what do you think? Looks like he snuck it in. It looks like both players are still just feeling each other out. Even though they're being aggressive, they're being very cautious. It must be a very close match. Indeed. Okay. Pumata seems to be there on the attack. He put his foot on the chest here, but I don't think it was. I don't think it scored. I don't think it scored. Oh, now that should have scored because it did cause the knockdown, right? You see him claiming the arm. I, I think he got a point as well. The players seem to have scored the roundhouse kick there. The players being tied up there a little bit. Ricardo Pumares, I believe, is 27 years old, and he's going up against uh, a very young uh, athlete, but very talented. Uh, usually in this, in this type of situation, the older players have more injuries, and uh, the younger players don't have as many injuries, and, and they have a lot more stamina, but yet the older players have a lot more knowledge. So let's see what happens in this uh, semifinal here. They're really putting it all out on the line. You can see that they're going so at such a fast pace that they're getting a, getting tired of losing their balance a little bit more than they probably usually do. This is a, a semifinal match, and this is going to determine who goes on to the finals. So if it were me out there, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be going all out. There, there's no room for second best. We've got to go for it all when we're out there. And uh, I think that's just about it. Well, that's it, the end of the fight. Let's see who picked this one up. Okay, it seems to be Mark Lopez, USA Elite Team.